Hi guys, it is another refreshingly cool and cloudy day here in, on the rock in South Austin, Texas. I guess they're picking up bodies from tornadoes about 100 miles north of here, and I guess about a million of those Bangladeshis are fleeing the higher ground right now. But here in Austin, it's just another fine day on the planet and I'll probably bring you a couple of rants today and I'm actually for those of you naysayers who say ham bun little tail is just the never brings good news I have uh, some shockingly good news uh, for the few people here on this planet who want to who want to listen to it and this rant is going to be another Alex Jones rant and uh, this, I've been waiting for this day for years, and I wish I had I had predicted it more loudly from my rock. I've been uh, I've been predicting it quietly to myself, and it has finally happened that uh, Alex Jones, now by proxy and indirectly at this point. Alex Jones has admitted that global warming is real. And I will get to the uh, Alex Jones sized uh, asterisk next to this. This is what this rant will be about. But the bottom line is that, uh, that, that Alex Jones has on one level finally, finally uh, gotten it through his fat head that global warming is real. The, the biggest climate denier, the biggest head up his ass climate denier, uh, you know, leading the weakening charge. What did I say in a rant last week that that Alex Jones's climate change denial now represents uh, about one what was it? Eight, I'm sorry, eight percent of Americans. That 92 percent of Americans have have pulled their head out of their ass and finally, finally we see some, some evidence that Alex Jones is, is joining Rex Tillerson, the CEO of Exxon and uh, admitting that, uh, that global warming and climate change are real and happening on this planet. And, and the crack in, in the blubber, uh, the crack in the blubber uh, appeared yesterday in some uh, bizarre video here on the Alex Jones channel. The Alex Jones channel. Now, uh, this was not Alex himself, unfortunately. He put in there this guy that I really like, uh, Jakari Jackson. Uh, Jakari Jackson uh, doing the the uh, Infowars news last night. Uh, so it was Jakari uh, who, in turn was introducing this uh, documentary filmmaker name of George Barnes, uh, who I think has actually won the competition. He was, he was a competitor, and I think he was one of the winners of this Project Paul Revere competition that Alex Jones initiated a few months back inviting his uh, listeners to submit their own YouTube videos uh, you, you know about whatever the, the, the shit that uh, Alex Jones talks about well this George Barnes guy chose chemtrails uh, ooh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry what am I supposed to say here not chemtrails uh, uh, well, shit, now I forget the term. Anyway, we're supposed to stop. Uh, us chemtrail wacko conspiracy factists aren't supposed to use the word chem. We're uh, sorry, persistent contrails. Persistent contrails. This man, George Barnes, chose to do his excellent documentary, which I've also put the link on here, called Look Up. Look Up uh, on Persistent Contrails. And so I think he, he, was, he was one of the winners of this. His, his uh, 
documentary per, uh, uh, look up. Uh, so anyway, uh, in that documentary that was submitted to Alex Jones about persistent contrails uh, and, and announced by Jakari Jackson, uh, the, one of the central themes in that, in that documentary was one of the major central themes of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. That number one, that persistent contrails formerly known as chemtrails, uh, are very real and the obvious for anybody with a brain, the obvious reason for these damn things for perhaps the single biggest global conspiracy on this planet, the number one conspiracy on this planet. I keep forgetting this word, persistent, persistent, persistent contrails. Uh, the reason for them is to combat global warming. You know, I, I, I was uh, sitting on this rock, when was it, a couple of years ago, talking about this book uh, from the early 90s by Jerry Manders, uh, who was again referring to a 1988 article in the New York Times interviewing these climatologists uh, who had already in 1988 had come up with this uh, come up with this idea and they were just looking for the right uh, they were just looking for the right combination of stuff well it ended up being aluminum barium and strontium that they came up with but Jerry Manders back in the early 90s was predicting chemtrails I'm sorry persistent contrails to combat global warming. Uh, it seems to me that these things started showing up in 1996 and uh, it was largely due to Alex Jones that yours truly woke up to the reality of as I say perhaps the single biggest uh, conspiracy fact on this planet that that hundreds thousands of these airplanes are spraying this shit all over this planet all over this country and all over this planet to combat global warming by deflecting the sunlight back into the cosmos by deflecting it with the reflective materials of aluminum and barium and I, I, I never have really uh, come up with a satisfactory explanation for what the strontium is all about I'm still working on that one uh, so anyway so for years uh, Alex Jones has been trumpeting uh, chemtrails excuse me persistent contrails been talking about this yet but unfortunately since, since Alex Jones is one of the biggest deniers of global warming on the planet, uh, he, is, he is leading the planetary charge of this horse shit head up his ass denying of global warming while admitting chemtrails. He, he obviously could not uh, say that chemtrails uh, were an effort to combat global warming because global warming was a hoax. So he has had to come up w with these outlandish theories that Monsanto, uh, Monsanto are, are, are the ones uh, behind chemtrails. I, I love that one. And of course, you know, just a, just the bigger umbrella that, that, that of course Monsanto is part of would be the Agenda 21 New World Order Depopulation Agenda. That, uh, that this is, I guess, uh, the Rockefellers uh, in tandem with Monsanto spraying all of this shit all over this country and this planet 
uh, as part of the New World Order's depopulation agenda to kill us all. That, that chemtrails, uh, obviously, uh, since, they, since global warming does not exist, climate change is, is a hoax invented by that fat-ass hypocrite Al Gore, uh, rant soon to be coming on Al Gore, uh, that it couldn't be uh, to do with uh, anything to do with global warming. Well, finally, guys, the, the crack in the Alex Jones uh, global warming denial blubber has happened. Uh, so he had, so anyway, so I guess Alex started this contest a couple of months ago inviting, you know, as I say, this, this project Paul Revere. Uh, of course, I submitted as my submission, my, uh, my video hired Sandy Hook conspiracy uh, actor comes clean but I never heard back from Alex uh, about my own submission so I guess I did not win the competition but thankfully this George Barnes character did which is the, the this uh, YouTube video uh, called look up that uh, I will put the link on to you. It's a 20 minute uh, excellent documentary on these persistent calm trails. And, and, and the hook with this, just, just real quickly, uh, the, how, how this guy George Barnes got into it. He wasn't into all of this shit. He was a, he's a videographer and a photographer and somehow he was doing some time lapse stuff. Uh, I think he lives in New York. So a couple of years ago, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what year, a couple of years ago, he was doing this time lapse thing, but he was running the film backwards. And what he noticed that he, that at the end of the day of this time lapse photography, he was looking at kind of like the sky looks today, like at this milky white sky. Uh, and, and, and he noticed as he was doing something with time-lapse photography and running the, the time-lapse backwards from the afternoon to the morning, apparently what he saw were, was the reverse of these persistent calm trails and that he saw this cloudy day contract and into a what was what was a blue sky morning, just a beautiful blue sky morning. Uh, but then these airplanes started zipping across the blue sky, squirting this shit out uh, all over the sky, and these things started to diffuse over the day, over the day. The, these morning calm contrails started to persist and diffuse and all of this, this tic-tac-toe pattern and all of this shit that we see every day uh, going on started to diffuse and by the end of the day the, the, this, this beautiful blue sky day had turned into this yucky overcast just bleh and, and this was his big aha moment, his epiphany, that what was going on uh, clouds my ass. My ass. And so he figured out just one more regular guy uh, having his big aha moment. And so what this guy has actually done, just to, just to turn more bizarre, is that he has actually made some sort of cell phone app. How many ramps have I had about apps? APP. That he is. That he has uh, as a reaction to this. You know, figuring out what can I do to put an end to this abuse. And so he invented this app. It costs two dollars to buy this thing to put on your smartphone. I guess he has one for iPhones and one for whatever the other smartphone is. 
And so what it does, when you see these damn things, you can actually switch on your little app. I, to this day, I, I, I've never really understood what an app is. But anyway, with his little app, you turn it on and, and you film these things and you hit this app and what it does is it sends the video to your to the elected officials uh, who are who are wherever the chemtrails are being filmed. Uh, guys, I, this is absolutely bizarre to me. So it's a way. So it sends it, it, it sends an email with the video of the uh, of these chemtrails to whoever the elected officials are and the reporters for the the newspapers and TV reporters saying hello and apparently if he's not lying and he probably isn't a couple he sold 6000 of these in one day a company the guy made $12,000 off of this app. Good good for you, George Barnes. Uh, so this is just, anyway guys, you, you, you need to shut me up and, uh, and spend 20 minutes watching this video that won this Alex Jones Infowars uh, Wake the Hell Up Paul Revere Project competition. So, uh, we're in it, he, he drills the point in. As I say, it's the major, one of the major theses. That, that clearly, obviously, what these, what these uh, persistent contrails, which turn these blue skies uh, into this milky white shit uh, by afternoon are all about is clearly to deflect the sunlight back into the atmosphere. And uh, of course, the question that is being raised as he, as he does an excellent job of raising is, uh, and the point that he's making that I have been making over and over again from this rock is, is that th this, th this attempt to battle global warming uh, instead of by tackling the burning of fossil fuels, since that is nowhere on the table, and it's never going to be on the table, that, you know, the, these technotopian uh, solutions to global warming are going to backfire. It is literally going to be, again, I talk about it, out of the fry, the global warming frying pan into the fire. It is literally the fallout, the aluminum, barium, and strontium fallout, because eventually this shit is, is going to fall uh, out of the atmosphere, back on you know onto the land and the water. That uh, it, it is going. They are unleashing an environmental catastrophe certainly in this country and all over this planet this conspiracy this uh this uh, uh whatever you want to call it whether you want to use the, the c word chemtrails or call them persistent contrails the fallout literally of this it is going to unleash a, an, an environmental catastrophe onto this planet which will uh, equal if not surpass the environmental catastrophe of global warming. Number one, as the evidence, they've been out there doing this shit guys for, for going on 17 years and it clearly ain't working. Number one, there ain't enough aluminum, barium, and strontium on this planet to, uh, to succeed in their technotopian uh, efforts to combat global warming by spraying this shit in the air. Uh, it ain't gonna work. And so, in the, and so instead of one, we're still going to have the runaway environmental catastrophe of global warming and climate change. But in addition to that, we're going to have a whole 
new and planet-wide environmental catastrophe, uh, which is called the fallout of all of this aluminum, barium, and strontium. And so eventually the, the ultimate ironic joke is that it will be part of the New World Order's depopulation agenda. You better believe that this shit is going to start depopulating us. Now, of course, it's going to be an unintentional consequence of the New World Order uh, in their attempt to save this planet by, as part of their refusal to stop uh, burning fossil fuels, they are going to unleash a, they are, it's not they are going to, they have been unleashing an environmental catastrophe on this planet uh, that we are only beginning to wake up to. And, uh, and I want to applaud Alex Jones for the past several years making chemtrails one of these uh, cornerstones of his conspiracy factist rants. And now that he has cracked the blubber uh, by awarding the, the prize of the Paul Revere uh, documentary uh, that the reason for chemtrails is to fight the reality of global warming. Uh, th this is, as I say, I welcome aboard to planet reality. Alex, now this doesn't mean, guys, that in the next week we're going to have Alex Jones eating uh, eating a crow uh, in front of the cameras. He ain't gonna let that happen. His ego and his pride are much too big for that. So it's gonna start with this, but but within within two years, Alex Jones we'll be talking about the reality of global warming. And while I, as long as I'm making uh, predictions from this rock, I, I have made this other prediction before, and I will make it one more time to end this rant and to turn you over to this excellent documentary, Look Up. And that is this, that some point in the next five to 10 years, you will be reading in the mainstream media that whoever is behind this, uh, these persistent chemtrails are going to come clean with it. They are going to admit that they are doing it and have been doing it for years. And you know what? The majority of a head up their ass, uh, Americans are going to forgive them for it. They're going to come clean and they're going to say, guys, we had to do it. We had to do it for your own good that we have been poisoning you and this planet for the past, by the time they come clean, by, for the past 20 years, we have been poisoning you, your children, and this planet. But guys, it's for your own good. This will be uh, uh, all over the New York Times and, and, and nobody, and, and the thing about it is the majority of the sheeple are going to say, fine, keep doing it. That is my prediction. So instead of uh, one thing to kill the planet, we now have two things. But of course, we have we have two million things killing this planet. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this rant and say uh, welcome to Planet Reality, Alex Jones. Uh, and say for this rant, bye, guys.